humble, a consummate gentleman. He tenaciously pursues innovation excellence and seeks practical and accurate applications to complex problems. He is an American aviation and aerospace visionary, credited with saving thousands of aircrew lives. His designs and systems engineering innovations have revolutionized aircraft safety and are the number one choice of the U.S. Army and Air Force Special Operations helicopter teams. A pilot, engineer, entrepreneur, and scholar, he is recognized worldwide as the father of the crashworthy fuel system. He's referred to as the helicopter cowboy. He is Dr. Samuel Harry Robertson III. Harry was born in Phoenix, October 2, 1934. He was a young boy captivated by flying, but elevated his fascination to a higher level, crafting crude model airplanes by age four. His engineering instincts, already apparent, by nine he built a Spitfire model with a wingspan to match his height. His obsession with aviation continued growing, and by age 19, Harry would score five national model airplane flying records. And just three years later, 22 years old, he was flying the real thing in the U.S. Air Force. But changing the course of aviation safety, initiating programmatic engineering solutions, is not a simple task, nor is it a standard career profile. We are reminded that often our earliest life experiences can be so remarkable they influence who we become and how we achieve excellence in our lives. This was the case for young Harry, who as an eighth grader was introduced to Charles Lindbergh, legendary aviation pioneer, America's and Harry's hero. This chance meeting further fostered his enthusiasm for aviation, the result some years earlier of his grandfather's generous repair to Lindbergh's airplane after an emergency landing in nearby Williams. Lindbergh would return to pay a visit to Harry's family, and those few precious hours with the legend were all that it took to chart young Harry's future. In the Air Force, Harry flew the famed B-47 Stratojet, a Cold War, long-range, six-engine, jet-powered medium bomber flying at high subsonic speeds and altitudes. Immortalized in the movie Strategic Air Command, starring Jimmy Stewart, the Stratojet was the first of a new age in bombers with fighter-like cockpits and reduced onboard crew. The pilot workload increased more than any other aircraft of its time. But Harry accepted the nuclear mission as a way of life. It was a time of tactical deterrence. But there were moments in his life witnessing tragedy, which enforced his future passion to advance aviation safety, and specifically saving aircrew who had survived a crash by preventing fires the mishap caused. He yearned to answer the most basic questions. How did the fire ignite? But more importantly, how can it be prevented? Harry had witnessed the fiery crash of a P-51 at age nine. At 10, a B-24 bomber crash in Phoenix. As a sophomore in college, watching an F-84 explode, and age 23 during his outdoor graduation from Air Force pilot training, a nearby fatal airplane crash. His destiny was now set. Harry had hoped to attend Embry-Riddle School of Aviation, but his father pushed him towards Arizona State, where he majored in business administration and mechanical technology. It was also about that time, in 1953, he married Nancy Jean, his first wife and lifelong business partner. Harry was interested in aircraft mishap investigation not long after joining the Air Force. As he became more aware of the B-47's airframe engineering, he noted the landing gear was actually anchored near the fuel tank, creating high risk for an after-crash fire, even though the big bomber could survive the mishap. Harry's engineering instincts were in high gear once again. He believed it was possible to design fuel systems capable of surviving high-stress impacts, reducing secondary fires, saving lives. But Harry had to wait and it was in the 1960s after leaving the Air Force that he joined the Flight Safety Foundation's Crash Research Group in Phoenix, Arizona and formed Robertson Research Engineers. For 10 years, he and his team members conducted and analyzed crash test results on over 40 full-scale aircraft. They flung, swung, and dropped hundreds and hundreds of aircraft and components in order to understand and solve the core problem of crash impact on a plane's fuel system. 
During the height of the Vietnam War, the Army installed Harry's first crash-worthy fuel system design in the Bell UH-1 Huey helicopter. Because of its impressive results, the Army quickly moved to equip all their helicopters with the new fuel system, and soon were followed by the Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps. Previously, severe helicopter crashes resulting in fire accounted for over 40% of fatalities, but with the installation of the new Robertson fuel system, after-crash fires had virtually been eliminated. After an initial fuel system purchase by Hughes Helicopters in 1974, Harry founded Robertson Aviation in Tempe. The newly formed company produced the crash-worthy Robertson fuel systems, nicknamed by the military Robbie Tanks, for use in military and civilian aircraft. The successful fuel system was later adapted for use in specialized land vehicles, including Indianapolis race cars. Harry has been known to say, there's no reason for someone to survive a crash and then die in a fire. In 1991, the U.S. Army reported the crashworthy fuel systems pioneered by Robertson were directly responsible for saving over 8,000 lives since 1970, a testament to Harry's now matured engineering instincts. Harry would also, during this time, meet and marry his lovely wife, Linda, who was actively contributing to the company's success. Beyond saving lives, Harry actively supports aerospace education. In 1972, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University awarded him an honorary doctorate in aviation technology and in 1991 elected him to their board of trustees. The university is also home of the Robertson Aviation Safety Archives, which include over 50 years worth of photographs, videos, and technical papers compiled from his thousands of accident investigations, and also with his son, the David and Harry Robertson Flight Simulator Center. Harry has received numerous awards, including the Jerome Letterer International Award for Accident Investigation and the Admiral Luis de Flores International Flying Safety Award for Research in Aircraft Crash Fires. He has been inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame, the Army Aviation Hall of Fame, and the OX-5 Aviation Pioneers Hall of Fame. He's also the recipient of the Renner Express Chief Stewards and Safety Award and the Continental Casualty Company Safety Award for implementing crashworthy fuel systems in Indianapolis-type race cars. Harry has published over 80 articles and scientific reports on air safety and has been interviewed on numerous television shows, including NOVA, 60 Minutes, CNN, as well as the Discovery and Learning Channels. But there is an additional world for Harry and Linda, that of Arizona ranchers. You will find Harry herding cattle, planning the details of ranch management, and often the helicopter cowboy uses technology to increase herding efficiencies. His appreciation for the love of the land and love of the hard work it takes to ranch is beyond reproach. He's a cowboy at heart. For his extraordinary contributions as an inventor, entrepreneur, and American patriot, quantifiable safety initiatives, and innovation saving lives of young men and women service members, ensuring thousands of military pilots, crewmen, and passengers are able to do their job successfully and return home safely, the San Diego Air and Space Museum takes great pleasure inducting Dr. S. Harry Robertson into its International Air and Space Hall of Fame.